All right. I wanted to show I wanted to show some things with voxeling that I was working on before I got too far down the road of making changes. And I'll try to keep this video short, so I might talk a little faster than I normally do. But in any good uh, game, when you're in third person view and you pan your camera around to where there's some object between you and your player, usually that object goes semi-translucent. Um, Stardew Valley, even though it's a 2D game, has a really good effect for this. Like, if your player walks behind a tree, that whole tree, as a you know individual entity within the game, goes translucent, and you can see your player behind it. It's really beautiful. I'd like to do something similar. So I wanted to explore options. And there's a couple that I found. This is our WebGL class, and this is the fragment shader code that's used to draw the, uh, the voxels within the game. So let's start there. And of course, I already tested this out, so I had something good to show. But basically what we can do, we have a couple options, is I found this correct way to uh, calculate depth from from something, probably Stack Overflow. Uh, what we can do is we could either discard the pixels, and I luckily there's a way to, to instead of fragment shader to just do some calculations and just bail, and that way that pixel that has been um, that's being rendered between two triangle points, you can just get rid of it. So again, this is the fragment shader. This is the part that like applies textures and colors to points between the triangles that are defined in your meshes. So let's see. So this calculates the depth of the pixel from the screen out into the world. Um, and then this, I'm setting this uniform discard depth uh, to, I think, 1.0 once you switch into third person view. Uh, otherwise, it's zero. That way, we don't discard any pixels. So we want to see what it looks like to just discard. And let me build real quick. All right, and refresh. OK, it does work. The problem is it calculates any pixel in the scene that is you know, between me and the player you know, less than a distance of 1. And that works OK. I don't think there's any distance that I could go to where that pixel would be drawn and obscure my player, but it's still a little weird um, since as you pan, <laughs> what's discarded changes. Now, again, this is this is because um, I don't have any concept in this game of what is a model or object, like so I can't just discard the tree. You know, I can't just discard this this water sculpture here because um, they're just blocks inside the world. And they're all in the same GL buffer. Uh, so this works. It's not pretty. Um, I'm not really sure how else I do this at the moment. Like if there's a better way to do some fuzzing or... I, I don't know. I don't know what, what else would be better. But the other thing we mentioned is what would it be like, you know, if we made it translucent, right? So with that, I'll set alpha blending to 0 0.5, and we'll see what that does. Let me build. OK. That's not working, but I can clearly see it trying to. And I actually encountered this before, and I kind of know the answer, but it's it was strange to see. It's like, okay, why isn't transparency working? So what I discovered was I didn't even have alpha blending on. So if a texture had some transparency in it, it wasn't like the GPU wasn't even attempting to do that. Luckily, it's just as simple as turning it on. And I have 
have rebuilt. Let's go back in. Oh, the water looks different, and that is because it turns out the water texture actually has alpha transparency in it, which was a surprise to me. And it, um, it already has a transparency, so I don't think that the me setting it to 0.5 makes much sense, but here you can see that it does do some uh, attempt at transparency, some blending. Now the reason why this doesn't actually work is you when you do a 3D game, you're supposed to draw the transparent things last after you've already drawn everything else in the scene. That way you're drawing transparent pixels on top of existing pixels, so that way you can correctly blend the two together. And that way you can control how they blend together. Because if you draw transparent first and something else later, the GPU doesn't you can't really blend it correctly. You end up with things that disappear like my player, or um, like in the case of this water, you have certain things that like that black cubes over there go away, but the, the white cubes from the sheep don't. It just depends on draw order. Now this um, water is going to be a nice effect once I do get it working because you can kind of see some of the ground texture showing through uh, down below. Maybe not so much. Maybe it's just the, the other sides of the water cube. But either way, it will look quite neat once I get that working. Okay, so that's two approaches. Honestly, not sure what I'm going to do yet. Uh, maybe I will stick with uh, alpha blending because maybe it's slightly less jarring. I'm not really sure. I'll have to play test it and see. <clears throat> um. That way we're not just discarding part of the tree or another cube. You can just kind of see it fade away so it doesn't obscure your character. Once I figure fix the, uh, the draw order. Okay. I think that's it. I'm going to fix draw order as part of a bigger refactoring of our mesher and um, drawing logic. Hopefully to optimize things and then um, it should make make room for doing that final pass of drawing all the transparent things. I'm not even sure what other textures may have translucency. It's I'm using those terms interchangeably. I probably shouldn't be. But uh, so far, water is the only one that I know, or that I've found right now, that has some alpha, alpha transparency in it. So, okay, just wanted to show that. And um, tee us up for some other work down the in the, in the future. That's not too bad of an effect, but I guess with alpha, you're going to be able to see down through the world. Oh, actually, that's a good point. If um, if I'm not okay, yeah, trying to draw these blocks as transparent when they're between the player and the camera is probably not going to work in the end because again, what you're really supposed to do is draw transparent stuff last. That way, the pixel blending works correctly, the color blending. So if I am trying to draw them transparent in the shader, and maybe the ground was drawn last here, or drawn first. Maybe, yeah, if the ground was, ground was drawn last, and I'm trying to make this, this um, coal texture block transparent with something that hasn't been drawn yet, that's not going to work. So it's probably going to be <laughs> a funny looking experience, but we'll leave it for now and just see where we get once I do, uh, you know, the, the shader and the, the draw order refactoring. Okay. That's all I wanted to show. See ya.